Hey folks, thanks for joining us here on CBS 4 at 530. Well, today the city actually announcing plans to build an amphitheater for concerts and events in Northeast El Paso. CBS 4 at 530's Julia Spencer live at the side of this new venue to tell us what their vision is and just how this will impact El Paso's economy. Hey, Julia. Well, I'm standing here right next to US 54 in Northeast El Paso, where an outdoor amphitheater will be built. Now, right behind me is the exact spot where that stage for the venue will be with a beautiful backdrop of the Franklin Mountains. Now, this plot of land may just be a pile of dirt and rocks right now, but in just under two years, it will be the home of the Sunset Amphitheater. Now, these plans are already moving forward, and city leaders say that this venue will not cost taxpayers a single dime, and it is expected to bring $5.4 billion to the city. When you asked why El Paso, the answer is why not? Because El Paso is a vibrant, growing community. The mayor of El Paso today was excited to announce that an outdoor amphitheater will be built in the Northeast. The CEO of the company, Notes Live, shared why he chose El Paso to build his next $80 million investment. What brought us here is just the, the excitement around the city of El Paso. It has been in our top three since we started our business. So the big three things for us is when we're looking at a site is we, we start with the demographic. Um, does the demographic work for an amphitheater? Number two is, is there a public-private partnership that could exist there? Um, and if so, what does that look like? These, then the third piece is, does it fit the routes? Does it fit, does it fit um, routing off of other amphitheaters? The Sunset Amphitheater will be built at the city-owned Cohen site in Northeast El Paso. It has been in our top three since we started our business. The venue will seat close to 13,000 people. It will also have 120 fire pit suites, including a contract for them to host 40 concerts a year. On top of that, this venue will develop more hotels, restaurants, stores, and family entertainment around this area. We see a lot of companies coming there and growing and creating a lot of jobs. While all of that sounds great, I did ask the mayor and other local leaders how much this will cost the city. The city is not having a single dime from its general fund. This is rebates for what they're generating, so this is not costing the taxpayer one dime. They were talking about jobs they provide, but it's more than that. As people will start companies and people will start growing around that area, it really, excitement breeds excitement. Now, since this announcement, there has been some questions about what will happen to the Cohen Water Park, which is right next to this area. But I asked city leaders and they said that the water park will be staying where, it, where it's at. The CEO of No Slive is currently in the process of getting their building permits. Construction is expected to start in August of 2025 and the venue will officially open in March 2026. I'm reporting live from Northeast El Paso, Julia Spencer, CBS 4 at 530.